Hey everyone, John Xiao here, and welcome to another video. It is Saturday, and I'm here at the San Clemente outlet. Behind me are the Tesla superchargers. Uh, I'm here for the weekly cars and coffee meetup that's happening upstairs. Let's go check it out. Well, it looks like another full house. And you know, considering that it's not too sunny today, it's, you know, it's completely overcast. But uh, yeah, big tunnel today. South OC Cars and Coffee happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, it's open to everybody, totally free. It's uh, pet friendly, as you can see, a lot of people uh, use this event to just give their dogs some exercise. Uh, that's what Sally's doing right now. And by the way, this is uh, not Widget, as you can see, that his name is Picasso. Yeah, we're taking care of a friend's dog. Which is around here somewhere. We got some JDM representation here. <laughs> Check this out. That is tiny. Nineteen ninety one Honda Beat. That's uh, really, really tiny. Came all the way from Montana. Uh, I wouldn't feel safe driving this. I feel like if I get into one little accident, I'll, I'll die. It's a death trap. It's a death trap, as Sally just said. That is really, really low. Ho oh, ho. Yeah. Uh, the car is on an airbag suspension. It obviously you can't drive it in this state. So when a driver does come back to the car, the car will raise up. So it's operational. You just need to make sure before you lower the car to the ground that your wheel, your front wheel, is pointing straight ahead. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna crack a bumper. Maybe maybe that's what happened there. Check this thing out. Totally customized, super long stretch. Uh, two passenger, it's a Ford Thunderbird. Yeah, it's a Ford Thunderbird and it's got a Chevy motor, a Corvette motor, an LS motor and a Ford Thunderbird. That's hilarious. But yeah, that's the longest trunk bonnet ever ever seen. Interior, really nice. Uh, I love the fact that it has a Chevy motor. Here's a vintage Mustang with an up-to-date Ford racing motor, supercharged by Paxton. So you have this Paxton supercharger, and then there's the Paxton intercooler. So the, uh, the plumbing, very, very short distance, so there's virtually very, very little lag, or virtually no lag at all. Sally's having a handful with Picasso. He's a lot stronger than Widget. Uh, that's a classic hot rod, 4T bucket. I would have preferred to see a supercharger instead of a tunnel ram, but yeah, that's pretty cool too. This is a beautiful vintage Corvette. And the story with this car, I believe, was that's the owner there. And, and what happened was he sent his Corvette to be restored. And the cut the shop that restored it sold the engine. Sold it. Like, I don't know, just missing. The engine missing. So, Turn lemon to lemonade, replace it with a brand new Corvette motor. Right? That's where you do it. Take a Lexus SC400, <laughs> replace it with a six cylinder. Basically, I think this is a motor off a, uh, off a Supra. And hey, look at the side, that supercharger, that turbocharger. Yeah, you can see the turbocharger spooling up there. Pretty cool. Nice Porsche 911 GT3. This is a dot two edition. And it's wow, I think it's loud. And it's next to a Lotus Elan. It is so small. I mean, it makes the Porsche look huge. Honda S2000 with a supercharged VTEC motor. 
Reminds me of Johnny Tran from Fast and the Furious. Too soon, Junior. Another vintage car with modern drivetrain. The Bonobo Chevy 350. It's an LS motor again. Wow. That's awesome. Look at that sound system in there. 3 subwoofers from audio. Let's check it out. Check out the back. Oh yeah, all, all audio equipment. There's the uh, EQ and EQ for the left side, the amplifiers, EQ for the right side. Yeah, it's got Bel Air, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and we got some cars here in the uh, Fire Lane parking lot. Huh. Acura NSX with a nice wrap, a Porsche GT3, McLaren 650, a Lamborghini Aventador, another McLaren, a Ferrari, BMW and a Porsche. Well, there are tons of choices when it comes to cars. The coffee part of cars and coffee is honestly kind of limiting. This Mustang is trouble. See what I mean? It's the Rebel. Oh yeah. I don't know what this is for, but this is like the ultimate off-road excursion vehicle for you and your friends who want to go off-road really, really fast. You know it's the five-point racing harness. All the lights. This thing is huge. There's another Rebel. Oh, look at that. Let's check it out. Check it out. Let me go inside and... Oh yeah, it's a party back here. And there's a little camping area, cooking. And then back here we have all, all the extra supplies. Supercar section has a slant nose Porsche. Yeah, with a pop-up headlights. That's vintage. Oh, that's cool. Surfboard and everything. And that exhaust right up to the center. Ferrari 488, the red one is the uh, coupe edition and the gray one is the Spider convertible edition. The Spider is a hardtop convertible, the top is not soft, it's, it's in here. And a little interesting feature is uh, you see this window here, it can go up and down, it goes up by, so you can prevent draft from you know blowing your hair. And also when the top is up, you can load the rear window so you can hear the engine. The only thing, the only downside, I guess, for the uh, the Spider, is that you, you can't see the motor. Whereas in the the Coupe edition, you can see there's the the motor beautifully displayed behind the glass, all for you to admire. Wow, this is brand new. I can smell the leather. Ooh, what a whiff. <laughs> Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Basically, take the GT3, add more downforce, and add more power. And add $100,000 to the price. For the sports car enthusiast who has a family but doesn't want to give up that sports car power and feel, yeah, this is it, the, uh, the Porsche Panamera. It's a Porsche's four-door sports car. It's big, it's heavy, it's beautifully luxurious. And you can see it has a baby seat, like I said, you know, for the Porsche enthusiast 
who's a family man? So, and you can see baby seats in there, but this thing is uh, packing over 500 horsepower and it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very fast. Corners like it's on rail. It basically, it, it handles like a Porsche, except it's, it's just four people. And taking right along, we have a J Sport GT. A Ferrari 360 is for sale if you want to buy it. 2004, asking $85,900. Uh, oh, this, at first I thought it's an F430, but it's more than that. This is actually a, a 16M scooter area. So it's based on a F430, but this is a limited edition car. It's lighter, a lot more carbon. So you can see carbon fiber everywhere. Even the uh, the intake is in carbon. Oh, wow. And nice exhaust there. So these are worth way more than F430. Acura NSX. Ferrari California, another Ferrari California. So this, they're both the same. This California has a top up, that California has a top down. So you can get a good look at the mechanism. So it's a, it's a hard top convertible, so you can see. And it all fits in here. Yeah. How do you actually get in there? It's a pretty neat piece of engineering and Sally just went what? Cause yeah, it is a four seater, but as you can see, I don't think you can fit anyone back there. You can barely fit Picasso in there. Yeah, maybe the dog will fit back there, but not anything with legs. Yeah. All right. And this must be the car that attracts all the attention here. This is the Porsche Carrera GT. Limited edition car. It uses basically a, a racing motor, a Formula One V10 motor. I'll check out that exhaust and it is the I believe the only supercar in the world with a carbon fiber clutch extremely extremely finicky like the uh, the clutch has no moderation or very little fuel is either all on or all off so what generally happens is that uh, because of the the twitchiness of the clutch it has actually killed some people uh, Paul Walker being the most famous from Fast and Furious yeah, he was he was in this car, or not in this car, but he was in a Porsche Carrera uh, GT when he died because uh, the owner, the driver, couldn't handle the clutch, I would imagine. So be very, very careful with this car because it, it's, it's basically it's a Widowmaker. He's, he's put a fire it up, so listen to it, it sounds amazing. Uh, unfortunately, Carl's and Coffee has no revving rule, so he's not going to be able to rev it, but uh, take my word for it, this thing sounds amazing. Motorcycles are welcome at Cars and Coffees as well, and this one is a great representation. A Ducati, Paul Smart 1000. Okay, that uh, concludes this uh, week's episode of Cars and Coffee. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're brand new. Like and share my video. And I'll see you guys next time.